Other questions? Yes, thoughts on ethanol in gasoline right now, we're at E10, yeah. and uh, there are proposals to move to E15. Mm -hmm. We hear from the grassroots a tremendous upwelling of I, a small two-stroke engines are being are croaking. Yeah. The only uh, gasoline used in the state right now that's not E10 is for aircraft, because a E10 would wipe out our aircraft. What do you think about continuing to use ethanol uh, in, in the state of Maine? Personally? Yeah. I, uh, I had an airplane crash this summer, and uh, my mechanic said that, asked me the question, said, did you ever have gasoline in it that had ethanol in, in your fuel? And I had uh, what's called an auto STC for the aircraft, so I was allowed legally to burn automobile fuel in this old airplane. And, uh, and I said, you know, that, that I had put some fuel in it just as the change occurred, and, um, but I had drained it all out per his instructions at the annual inspection. So I had 100% aviation fuel in the aircraft, and yet the engine quit at 3,000 feet over um, a beautiful little golf course in Auburn, <laughs> which, uh, which I subsequently landed on with my... Uh, Jerry Clubs with you? No, but they, they all got a big kick out of it. I made, cleaned the gear off and wrecked the plane, and, Climbed up to the window and the passenger was all right and the, and the first golfer arrived on the scene said, you know, can we get a stroke if we hit this plane here for a stroke or, you know, and, and the owner of the course wants to leave a divot and should I become governor, they're going to call it the governor's divot and, and have a three-stroke penalty. Here. So, so uh, but, but the fact is, is that I think that engine quit because of ethanol, that because it, con it congealed on the side of the tanks and washed down with the, with the uh, um, aviation fuel. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of ethanol. It costs $12 billion in taxpayer subsidies to grow corn and to produce it in the Midwest as ethanol. And in the meantime, it doubled the price of food in the world. And so I'm not a fan of it. And it's not mandated for Maine. So when you become elected uh, governor, please straighten out the people who say it's mandated. It's mandated for the United States, not by state. And it's Irving Oil and others outside of the state yeah. that are paying the blenders five cents a gallon, and they're getting the money to yeah. sell it to us. We don't have to have yeah. it. It's inefficient. It is wasteful, and it uses more than a gallon of gasoline to produce every gallon of ethanol, yeah. which is absolutely absurd. Yeah, and I, I think those numbers are are the main reason not to support ethanol. It's not because we don't want all alternative fuels. Uh, we do want alternative fuels. There are opportunities in the main forest to create cellulosic ethanol from trees. There's a woman who just bought Old Town, the Old Town paper mill, Old Town fuel and fiber. She is uh, she's a very wealthy woman who has an investment fund who uh, said that she will make cellulosic ethanol at the Old Town mill and she will, she purchased McDonnell Douglas Helicopter Company and she will provide jet fuel from trees to those helicopters made in Old Town, Maine. And she's doing it. She is, she, when they asked her to, to, uh, to match the Federal Department of Energy grant, she said she would do it in a minute because she's committed. And that was a $30 million investment that she made. And, and there are 200 people in that mill that are working every day that didn't have a job um, eight months ago. And uh, there are opportunities for alternative fuels. Ethanol, corn ethanol, is not in my estimation, a good way to go. I mean, I'm from rural Maine. I was brought up in rural Maine. Uh, we all have chainsaws. We all have uh, snowmobiles. We all have, uh, um, some people have ATVs. And some of us have old airplanes. The stuff doesn't work in these engines. It does not work. Unless you, it will work if you put it in and you burn it right out. And, uh, but if you leave it there for any length of time, you can have real problems with it. So, other questions? Yes. Uh, you said that LD 1495, the restructuring of the tax system, is going to be pretty much like revenue neutral, going to be good for everybody. What about the elderly in our state that aren't going to have you know, this decrease to their income tax because they're not working anymore, but they are going to be hit with a 5% tax on automobile repairs, they are going to be hit with the meals tax. Mm -hmm. Last time I went to McDonald's and I looked around, or went to Irving, or pretty much any restaurant for that matter, mm -hmm. I see my fellow Mainers there, I don't see out-of-state tourists. So it's not as though, like, oh, the meals tax, well, that's just hitting, right. you know, all of our out-of-staters, and we're just 
get in them just like the toll plaza. It's so hitting I, Mainers. I just agree, as hard I agree as with you that, that there are main people that, that eat in restaurants. They, they obviously yeah. they're the, they're the, the bulk of the um, of the meals tax. The lodging tax is another deal. Yeah. And there are 35 million tourists that arrive here every year. Yeah. So, as governor. Um, I think it's important that we don't take another penny out of people's pockets in the state of Maine, families in the state of Maine, whether it be for college tuition or whether it be for taxes. But I do think it's very important to look at what's fair for taxation. And, what, and, and that means a system that was designed uh, in the 1960s and how it relates today to what people spend and buy. Uh, there are a lot of, there, as I said, there are 35 million tourists that arrive here every year. And uh, um, I, I, I was um, an owner of several tourist-related businesses. I depended, we depended our family livelihood on those businesses. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is, if, when you look at taxation, Maine is very rich in land, it's very poor in cash. So how do you find cash to pay for services that people want? You find it from sources that don't affect main families. And that's what I would do as governor.